Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is the continuation of my just previous video. Here you can see we have connected a BD139 transistor with a 10K potentiometer between the output of LM317 and base of 2N3055. We are using the 10K potentiometer for controlling the current at the output terminals. I have not shown a fuse in the circuit diagram, but when you are using this in the bench power supply, you must use fuse in the input as well as the output terminals. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. I have connected two transistors in the heatsink. We can pull a maximum of 15 ampere altogether from this circuit. A good heatsink is required for these transistors and I am not quite sure whether these transistors are uh, original or not. I have also connected the BD139 and we don't require any heatsink for this BD139 transistor. For LM317 also it don't require any heatsink. I connected this heatsink for my previous video for showing you the importance of using power transistor for this power supply. I, I will give the link to the video in the description box. For connecting input, output, power transistor, you should use a good quality wire that is thick wire which can carry 15 ampere minimum. For testing the circuit, we have used these wires which I took from a ribbon cable. When I checked the data sheet, it is written that 2N3055 has the capacity of carrying 15 ampere max. Once again, I am telling, I am not sure that these transistors are original. So when you are making this for your needs, use good quality 2N3055 transistor. Even I am not sure whether each transistor can handle at least 7.5 ampere. This potentiometer is used for controlling the current and this one is used for controlling the voltage. I have given my 12 volt 2 ampere pedestal fan as the load to the circuit. The multimeter you can see the output is set as 12 volt and the other one is showing the current. You can see right side top I am switching on the fan. The moment I switch on the fan, the voltage dropped to 8.8 .8 volt. You can see the fan is drawing 1.4 ampere from the circuit. Now I can change the current by turning the 10k potentiometer. Now I am turning the potentiometer to low position. Now the current is set as zero. Fan has stopped its working. You can see the voltage also dropped to below 1 volt. This is because the load is trying to pull maximum current from the circuit and BD139 is not allowing the 3055 to deliver the current. Now I will again increase the current by turning the potentiometer. You can see the fan has started its working. You can see in the multimeter the voltage is slowly increasing. Now the voltage is set as 6.21 volt and the current is set as 0.9 ampere. Watch the multimeter, the voltage is now showing 6.24 volt. Now I will switch off the load. The moment I switch off the load, the voltage becomes 12.10. I am again switching on the load. Now you can see the voltage has dropped to 6.24 volt. Now I will again change the current so that the voltage will become 10 volt. Remember, we don't need to change the voltage potentiometer because we already set it as 12 volt. We don't need to change it. The voltage is showing as 10.1 volt and I am switching off the load. You can see the voltage becomes 12.12 volt. Now I believe you got the relation between load, current and voltage. Simply saying Kirchhoff law. So we can make the voltage constant and change the current according to our need. The circuit is working perfectly. Now I will increase the voltage to 13.5 volt. Remember not current voltage to 13.5 volt. And now we will switch on the load. Now you can see the voltage dropped to 11.4 volt and the current you can see it is dra now drawing 2.1 ampere. I can change the current and control the speed of the fan. Please like and share this video among your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.